did Colin Kaepernick's workout make it more or less likely that he'll play in the NFL again? What an unholy mess. I don't feel like you can answer this question with any degree of confidence, given that they can't, without bouncing into each other and poison spilling all over the place, even conduct a workout when they don't trust each other at all. And if you're Colin Kaepernick, why would you trust a league that has taken three years of your prime? Why would you sign what is considered a standard waiver when nothing about your situation is standard? Of course he's going to be defiant even now, and of course he's going to behave in a fashion that protects himself. Tom Brady didn't trust this league with his phone, and that league changed all the rules for him. I find it suspicious that people want, in this instance, for Colin Kaepernick to kneel in this instance before the league and treat it like just a job interview as if he should trust anything the NFL is doing. Yeah, I think it makes it less likely, which is a shame because I believe Colin Kaepernick wants to play football. And I also think there are teams in the league that have genuine interest in signing him. But if there's one thing we learned this weekend or at least saw exacerbated, it is the lack of trust between both sides. I've seen people arguing, as Dan said, well, if he really wanted a job, if he's so desperate to get back in the league, he should do whatever it takes. But he can both want a job and not want to cede control completely, given everything he has been through up to this point. The problem is that unwillingness to see control is probably why this will never happen, which is unfortunate because looking around the league, there's a lot of teams that could use Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, I think Mina nailed it. And the thing that's been frustrating about people saying if he really wanted the job is people seem to believe that there can't be two things going on in your mind at once and you have to rank those priorities. I think getting a job in the NFL is higher on his priority list, but being himself and being true to who he is is higher on that. And he doesn't want to work. It appears that he's a man of principle who doesn't want to work for anybody that's going to require him to be somebody who is not, which I respect. I think many of us would like to live a life where we can do that. He seems to be in a position and have the um, fortitude to do that. And I'm not going to be upset at him because me and other people and my friends have to kowtow to bigger organizations in order to make money. I think it's fine. If he doesn't want to do that, don't do it. I think he's completely comfortable with not having a job as long as he continues to be able to be himself. I think that we know that given that Dan Orlovsky was called and asked by a team to play this year, that this doesn't have to do with talent or <laughs> merit. Of course, he can be on an NFL roster. That one goes without saying. But the reason they had an interview portion set up in this workout is because of the public relations that come with this. And given that everything exploded in everyone's face this weekend, that's as poor as that workout could have gone because look at what happened with the workout. They want to talk to him about whether there's going to be a mess around him. And he made a mess at the workout because he's not going to do things their way. To be fair, Dan Orlovsky is in great shape. He texts me about his workouts. He is ready to rip.